Isn't pie amazing? I mean, it's so mathematical, and not to mention delicious. But never mind that. This infinite number presents an inherent problem for us muggles. It's infiniteness. I mean, how do you measure something that never ends? Surely you just have your calculator run on forever, but for one, that will take forever, and for another, you're gonna need a lot of batteries. A much easier way to find pi is to actually use an infinite series of numbers. Not that you can add up all the numbers, since the series is still infinite, but rather add up as much as you would need. And we do this through McLaurin series. Quickly breezing through a few years of calculus, a McLaurin series is simply a series of numbers which begins at a starting point and adds on corrections until it eventually gets close enough to make a guess. Think of it like throwing a wiffle ball. Sure, we know where the ball started, but that doesn't really help us find where the ball is at this point, or at this one, or really any point but here, and wherever we happen to get lucky. So we tweak it a bit, and add on corrections, and more corrections, and even more corrections, until we eventually get just close enough to make a decent guess. And this is exactly what a 17th century mathematician named Leibniz did. But his series is slow, as in really slow. To get pi to 8 digit accuracy, 3.14159926, you need to add more than 5 million terms. But luckily for us, math has been around for a while, and a massive amount of people have studied it, including one man by the name of Nila Kantha, who came across the same series as Leibniz. But Nila Kantha took it one step further, and decided to correct the values of the series term by term, making the series converge to pi much faster than Leibniz's. And its corrections gave us this simple formula for pi, just keep adding and subtracting the odds only to calculate pi to your heart's content. Now that is one truly delicious equation. Hey, no, no, no.